Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a cut out uh, shape effect in Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. I'm gonna leave artboards unselected and then we're gonna use a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then background content set to transparent and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on create. From here, I'm going to use the ellipse shape tool. So going to uh, my shape panel here. To get there, I'm gonna use the uh, keyboard shortcut uh, U and then shift U to toggle between them to get to our ellipse tool here. And then I'm gonna hit uh, D on the keyboard to get back to my default colors. And then I'm just going to hold shift and draw out a circle here. Uh, using the move tool V on the keyboard, just going to align it to the center here. And then I'm also going to draw a heart shape. So we are going to do that with our custom shape tool. So just right clicking here to show you, we're gonna go to our custom shape tool here. And then uh, from the shape drop down menu, I'm going to use a heart shape. So. Here I am in the uh, Legacy Shapes and More uh, that uh, comes with a Photoshop. If you do not see this, uh, what you can do is you can go to Window, bring up the Shapes panel. Uh, from this icon here, you can hit it and then you can click on Legacy Shapes and More and then it will load uh, the shapes into your Shapes panel. So let's go ahead and uh, close that one here. We'll come from the drop down menu here under all the legacy default shapes, scrolling down to uh, the shapes folder here, and then just selecting that heart uh, shape there. I'm gonna go ahead and select a new layer here, and then we are going to draw out our heart, just drag, clicking and dragging out. And then, I, and then I'm gonna use the space bar, which will allow me to move it around. And then we'll just keep dragging it out a little bit to make it a little bit bigger. And then uh, right now our heart is black. So uh, let's go ahead and change the color of the circle. So I'm gonna bring this, just select a new color for the circle and then we'll have black here in front. And then there are two ways in which you can achieve this cut out effect. So let's go ahead and duplicate these. Um, Command J to duplicate it. And then I'll just turn off these layers here. Uh, so one way uh, with this ellipse tool is you can rasterize it. So we're gonna go right click, you're gonna rasterize layer. On this heart layer, clicking on the icon, you are gonna go Command or Control click, and then you'll see that it will highlight the shape of that heart. Coming back to this ellipse layer, we are going to access the marquee tool, which is M on the keyboard, and then just right click, and then you're gonna go layer by cut. And what you'll see in the layers panel is now I cut out that heart shape. So if we turn off the heart layers, we now have that cut out effect here. So that is a one way to achieve that look. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off that layer. Let's bring up our other a copy of our heart and circle. Uh, so with this one, you can select both layers. And then if you go to layer, combine shapes, you have the option to uh, choose from four different options. Uh, for this one, we are going to subtract front shape. So you can click it. And then you will see that we have combined the heart and the circle by uh, subtracting that heart from the circle. One benefit of doing it this way is it is still a shape. So you can scale it up, scale it down, and still uh, maintain the integrity of the shape. Whereas uh, before we had to uh, rasterize that layer. So uh, rasterize means it turned it into pixels. So it, so in theory, it doesn't scale as well because it was turned into pixels. So this way we keep it as a shape so you can still um, scale it up, scale it down without losing any quality there. Uh, let's go ahead and convert this layer to a smart object 
And then we are going to uh, zoom out, so Command or Control with the minus key. And then I'm going to uh, turn on the Pattern Preview mode. So we are going to go to View, Pattern Preview. And then I'm going to make a duplicate of this shape here. So Command or Control J and then V for the Move tool. And then let's just bring it into the corner here to get our repeat. And then I'm just going to zoom out again so you can see a larger um, effect of that repeat here. And then uh, to define this pattern, we're going to go to Edit Define Pattern. You can give your pattern a name and just click on OK. And then let's go ahead and open a new document. We'll go File New, and then this time I'm going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, and then we'll leave everything the same and just go ahead and click on Create. From here I'm going to add a solid color adjustment layer. Let's just select a color from the swatch panels here. Let's try a purple one here. And then I'm going to add a pattern adjustment layer. From here you can click the drop down to select your newly created pattern or I like to bring up the patterns panel. Here we can see my newly created pattern here. If you do not have your patterns panel window open you can go to window and select patterns. So we'll go ahead and select that pattern there. And then I'm going to add a one more solid color adjustment layer. This time I'm going to make it white. So we're going to go FFF and then clicking on OK there. With this layer, you can right click and then just select Create Clipping Mask and that will color our pattern layer. And then on this pattern fill layer, if you double click, you have the option uh, to scale it. So let's try 50% uh, here, uh, making it a little bit smaller there. And then uh, you do have the option to angle a pattern, but I find when I do that, it just takes a lot of processing to uh, create that pattern. And so I don't generally uh, change the angle here. And then uh, when this dialog box is open, you always have the option uh, to change the way it lays out on your canvas here. If you just want to get back to the original, just click on Snap to Origin and then just select OK. One thing I like to do as well with this pattern fill layer, when you have a uh, white as your top color with this pattern fill layer, if you uh, change the opacity, then you can create a fun um, two tone effect here automatically um, using uh, the opacity and a white color fill layer. So that's a fun option if you want to um, create kind of a two tone effect uh, with that. To export this as digital scrapbook paper, we'll go to File, Export, Export As. Under File Settings, you have the option to change the file format. Um, in this case, we are going to leave it as JPEG. And then when it comes to digital scrapbook paper, um, generally you want a high quality. So under quality, you can choose to uh, change it to, uh, to the highest. Um, but just note that the higher the quality, the larger the file size. And then just scrolling down under color space, I like to uh, make sure embed color profile is selected and then just click to export. Thank you for watching this video on how to uh, cut out a shape in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create and design patterns in Adobe Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.